okay if you go to forest if you are hungry you you can be a group of people or you are going by alone um so in front of you there is there is an apple ate by cruel but you are very hungry or else it's a broken apple or it's a broken fruit what you will choose what you will do online students or else if you go to home you are seeing a pizza already your brother ate some part of it or else let's make you your, your brother ate some part of the pizza then what you will do you leave to the remaining part right if you are hungry in forest you just remove the part which was eaten by cruel or for the, the we will you will remove the damaged area then you will eat the fruit right if you are hungry otherwise if you have option it's not go it's not going to be the problem right okay so online students are you able to get yes sir okay so np problem it's merely same as like this not all the problem will seem like a difficult one for starting itself okay for a simple np problem um, it can be any kind of problem np means we are not able to write algorithm for it we are not able to find time complexity for it right i mean we are not able to write deterministic algorithm for it of course worst case would be there we can solve the problem but it will be in worst case so for that case what we will we will do is we will select as much possible so as much possible solvable areas from the problem that means we are taking the we are removing the damaged part of the fruit we will eat rest of it right that means from the given problem we are going to select only the good area that can be a known area so here in the sense known area okay and rest of the part it can be difficult then we can make it as a function it can be solved if you have solved in future or maybe it may not right so this is going to be the logic behind the today's problem what we are going to discuss already i told you that uh we have a solution and it's been proven for satisfiable equation satisfiable algorithm last class we have seen right from the set cxi is equal to x1 comma x2 comma x3 for them the cnf formula is going to be cnf is equal to what x1 or x2 bar or x3 and x1 bar or x2 uh, or x3 bar this is going to be the formula it's a proven formula and it has been uh, converted into the polynomial time so we yeah, i'm going to try i'm going to use that for solving some other problem i'm trying to relate some other problem right so whether the offline students are coming or not these guys will come okay let me share my screen is my board is visible yes students no sir it's not okay How about now yes sir it's visible okay so listen carefully i uh, once again i will repeat that uh, for today's problem also uh, you need 
the micro level concentration to understand the logic otherwise it will be very difficult to follow so if you missed two three step means then it would be very difficult uh, to relate the logic okay it's a simple one so first thing is um, i'm going to discuss about one new problem called click decision problem click decision problem the name is and if you look on the syllabus or the content what we are going to have uh, it may it may not be available it's already apart from the syllabus okay so if the question is about to prove np hard problem then you have you can use this application you can use this example for proving that instead of writing four three lines don't be effective for six more question and all right so you can use this example so the problem name is click decision problem so here click in the sense it is going to be very simple one let me draw a graph can anyone tell uh, what is complete graph what is the rule for complete graph online students what is complete graph so nature this is our connected to a unique page Sorry, uh, so it's an unlike graph in which uh, all different vertices are connected to an edge. Means one vertex should you have to connect it with the, all the vertices or edges. Edges. Edges or vertices. Edges. Is this edge or vertices? Two to four is vertices. Vertices are edge. Edge is right. It's it's a edge, right? So one is connected to that edge. No, na. Then, so I'm claiming that it's a complete graph. How I can claim that? This is going to be a complete graph. So next, I'll draw one more graph. One, two, three, another graph. One, two. So I am claim claiming that these three graphs are complete graphs. Then what is going to be the logic behind it? How these three graphs can be a complete graph? So, because it has an edge in between two vertices. It's not accurate. So, the two vertices are connected, uh, like only with the single edge. The same edge won't be repeated. Like a unique edge will be connected to the two vertices. Yeah. What about first one? First one also complete graph. See, from one edge to another edge, we need a direct rule. That's it. So, in some case, it may be an exceptional one. Um, the formula for the the for formula for satisfying complete graph is number of edge should be n into n minus one divided by two. So if the given graph is satisfying this rule, then it is going to be a complete graph. Let me try on first graph. So n is equal to number of vertices. The number of vertices is for given first graph 
total number of vertices is 4 right yes or no 4 minus 1 divided by 2 4 into 3 divided by 2 12 by 2 and we have got 6 check how many edges are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 then if you applied for second one so 3 into 2 minus 1 sorry 3 into 3 uh, 3 minus 1 it is going to be 6 6 divided by 2 3 hs right then if you take n values 2 we will get 1 hs 2 by 2 it is going to be 1 so this is going to be the logic for the complete graph and it has to satisfy complete graph rule for click decision problem and finding complete graph is not going to be a problem for the for solution for the given problem this section you are by is 2 welcome what's your name what's your name likita how about you kaushik kaushik reddy yeah okay so let me explain what is click decision problem now so we are now we have clear about complete graph right if the given graph is satisfying this rule then it must be a complete graph then what is click decision problem sir so it's a simple one that i am going to find a complete graph from the given graph okay for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay from the given graph is is going to be a complete graph so check the formula n into n minus 1 divided by 2 number of edges is 6 minus 6 into 5 divided by 2 6 fives are 30 30 divided by 2 15 edges is there 15 edges here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 only is there so it's not going to be a complete graph so what the question is question is i am going to find out a complete graph from the given graph is there any complete graph is available from the given graph yes it's available right so if i took for example if i took this this is going to be the complete graph so for the given complete graph what is the click value click value which is nothing but number of vertices in the complete graph so number of vertices k is equal to number of vertices is four right so from from the given graph i have found the complete graph as a subgraph of given graph and the number of vertices for the click for the particular click is going to be four okay that's the logic and next if i had one more edge like this if i had one more edge like this then find out how many number of click is there already is, this is one click right and i can form one more click by selecting these three right and i can make one more click by selecting these three right and i can make one more click by using only these three and i can make using these three also right so k is equal to 3 also available the maximum number of click is 4 so i can't find more, not more than that right and that's going to be the logic for finding a click in a given graph okay so here what i'm checking i'm checking whether the click is available in a graph or not right which means yes or no so here you have to understand that if it is going to be a decision making problem 
so decision making problem always decision making problem always relies on yes or no options or true or false in that category only it will come right but what about optimal or optimization problem already we have discussed right optimality or optimization problem optimization problem which is nothing but optimization means we are going to find all the optimal solution from that if my my request my request or my requirement is i need maximum solution means i will choose maximization problem that means maximization or minimization usually we used to take minimization right so uh, for different problems like uh, um, construction problem and there are so many problems are there for those problem we will choose maximization problem right so this is going to be the difference you have to understand the difference between decision making problem and optimization problem okay so here for this problem i am going to use listen for this problem i am going to use decision making strategy or decision making algorithm for solving this issue now i have took the problem click decision problem so if you want to use the normal brute force method or any other straight forward approach or recursive approach definitely it will lie on exponential category without visiting all the node you cannot find the click from the given graph right because it's not easy because how you will represent this graph into a program you will represent as a matrix or linked list right so you have to look on all each and every values of the matrix you just compare one to so total of 6 uh, is there then the matrix size would be 6 cross 6 right then you will check each and every cell of the matrix values and you will start compare with the parent node of it then only you can easily find see if you want to find out this loop as a click means what you will do you will check the uh, parent of one i mean the previous node of one it has to be 4 and uh, you will check the parent node of 4 it has to be 2 so it will it has to create a cycle right for some problem like uh, minimum sum panning tree and all crucible's problem we used to avoid the cycle so for this problem we are going to check the cycle is there or not right okay so for this category of course we know that and we are going to accept that definitely it will give you the worst case time complexity the normal method right so i am going to use one advanced approach or else i am going to use a non deterministic algorithm i am going to write non deterministic algorithm for rectifying this issue i want to bring this click problem click problem is an exponential one to convert exponential to polynomial this is going to be my task that means np to np hard okay i am going to convert np to np hard so let me um, tell you that how i am going to make i hope uh, you will rem you have remember the uh, formula for satisfiability problem right what is the formula x i is equal to it's a subset of x1 comma x2 comma x3 right okay and the formula is c n f is equal to x1 or x2 bar or x3 sorry sorry it's under right or and x1 bar or x2 or x3 this is going to be the first rule and uh, we are going to look on another rule also we are going to have okay so first we will discuss about this wait 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 if you want to write yeah take take so online students have you clear up to this is there any doubts 
Shall we proceed? The rule of satisfiability algorithm. Yes, online students, please respond. Shall we go further? Yes, sir. Okay. Listen, listen carefully. So what I am trying to prove by using this satisfiability algorithm is here number of input I'm going to consider x1, x2, x3 as the vertices. Okay. And I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to make a graph by using these vertices based on the input what I'm going to have. I know that what is going to be the input is a decision making problem. Either we can choose yes or no, right? So let's see. Um, first, let me draw a problem. X under a graph. X2, X3. So just consider as vertices. And here, X1, X2, X3. Sorry. So it is going to be class 1, class 2, uh, X2 bar. So for left side, I have used C1. And right side, I have used C2. Okay, here x1 bar, x3 bar. So, have you clear up to this? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw a graph, and the condition for drawing a graph is if uh, you are going to draw a edge, uh, it cannot be a positive, or I mean the opposite, or the complement of the left side one. That means you cannot connect with x1 with x1 bar okay because it's going to depth to going to you cannot connect this okay not only for x1 for all the cases that means you cannot connect x2 bar with x3 i mean x2 x3 with x3 bar okay so then i'm going to connect x1 with x2 bar x2 and x1 with x3 then x2 with x1 and x2 with x3 then x x3 with x1 and x3 with x2 now find out is there any click available no I already told you one, two, three, four, this is also a complete graph and one, two, three, this is also a complete graph and one, two, this is also a complete graph. Now find out how many complete graphs are there. What is going to be the maximum value for click? Yes, online students. How many clicks are available? What is the degree for the click? I mean, maximum degree. Listen, there is a method here. One to two means, of course, this is also a click, right? Because it has two vertices, it connecting each other, right? So it's a complete graph. So you see, from x1 to x2, it is also a click. It, all the edges were producing a click, right? So the degree is maximum degree is two. Yes, the maximum degree is two, right? So k is equal to two. So what I'm trying to say is. If from the CNF, if I'm going to have three vertices like X1, X2, X3, now see what about the number of classes C1, C2, it depends if it is increasing means it will go up to CN, okay, or else CK, you can take CK. So the K value is going to be common, K value is going to be equal 
when you are choosing this method i mean the maximum number of click degree is going to be same as the class what we are going to have in cnf formula okay so here i had two classes okay that's why i have got two click as a maximum degree yes online students have you clear shall i go to next click i mean um, for uh, class 3 i'm going to use class 3 concept okay let me explain the next one is another cnf formula let me change the color another cnf formula is x1 or x2 and x1 bar x2 bar and x1 or x3 for the given problem x i is equal to x1 comma x2 comma x3 and don't ask that sir how this formula came okay so it's a satisfiability algorithm it was uh, designed by one scientist uh, if he is alive then we can ask to him so it's a satisfiability algorithm we, we can discuss about that later because uh, we don't have enough time to discuss about this it is going to be algorithm so have you asked to, to any mathematician about pythagoras algorithm how this pythagoras algorithm came right so it's a satisfiability algorithm i will explain about the satisfiability algorithm later so if you applied the digital values like the zeros and one it will give you the satisfiability values okay that's what we are going to check now okay so for this problem how many classes i am having c1 c2 c3 and let's draw x1 x2 and let me erase this x1 x2 is class 1 and next x1 bar x2 bar it's a class 2 and the next x1 x3 okay now i'm going to draw a graph by using the same rule okay so i cannot connect x1 with x3 that mean x1 bar then i can connect with x2 bar it's fine then i can connect x1 with x1 and i can connect with x3 as well right next i am going to connect x3 to x2 to x1 i cannot go to go to here and i am going to connect x1 and x3 okay and next i am going to connect uh, from here x1 bar to um i can go to already x2 i have gone then i am going to x3 now okay and uh, next i am going to start from x2 bar to x1 and i can go to x3 as well right yes and uh, next from x1 already i went to all the places right it's over right now try to find out how many number of click is available so there is a click from here right and there is one more click over here and there is another click over here yes so what is the number of degree i mean click degree k is equal to 3 so the value the number of class what i am going to have is going to be c1 c2 c3 this is going to be the maximum degree for the given graph so in that way i am going to take and this is going to be a solved polynomial algorithm so i am going to use this 
solved polynomial algorithm in decision making a click decision making algorithm so if i used this then i can write a non deterministic algorithm for finding a click from the given graph right so have you clear up to this okay now let's check listen listen wait now i am going to take one click from the given problem and let's assign the value uh, let's take the first one x1 comma and it connected to x2 bar and next it's connected to x1 which means what are the values what are the values i'm having one comma let's make it let's take a different one then it will give you clear idea so let's take this one okay x1 x2 bar and i'm going to take x3 okay so x1 i'm going to take all value as 1 okay so let's see x1 is 1 x2 bar is i'm going to take x1 x2 x3 as 1 x2 bar is what is the value zero complement bar means complement zero and x3 is also going to be 1 so try to apply the value over here try to apply the value x1 value is 1 x2 value is 0 now i have one i need only x2 not x2 bar then how can i can convert it's a complement right here x1 then x1 bar is 0 then x2 bar is let us consider this the given value as x1 x2 x3 or a b c like this okay so uh, here we have to make this one as zero sorry okay so what is the value for x2 bar then it is going to be 1 then x1 and x3 so what is the value 1 or so if you yeah, for our case what is going to be the problem if it is either any one anything one means it will be one right and uh, for second one this is also one and the last one that is also one then what about the final value and when it will be accept if all the values are one means it will accept one have you remember the gate and gate or gate so that's if the result is if the gate, it can produce result as one means this is going to be a complete graph and it's it is going to be a satisfactory algorithm right so for any algorithm for any decision making algorithm so whether the problem is able to accept the satisfactory algorithm then we can use it and we can convert the problem into i n p hard problem to n p problem into n p hard problem okay now how can i write an algorithm for now how can i write algorithm for the given problem so for click decision problem for the click decision how can i write first read so it's a common one and i'm not going to uh, tell that uh, this is going to be a structure of algorithm in a simplified form i'm going to write read graph so graph will have if it is going to be graph if we are going to represent by using matrix means of course you will use two dimensional array right next after reading graph i'm going to use cnf function for i'm going to use cnf function for making a decision whether it is yes or no and return cnf degree that means number of classes that's it so i have written the non deterministic algorithm for the given problem in by using this method now it becomes np2 np hard okay so in that way 
researchers are trying to move the NP problem to NP hot problem, and this is going to be the simple example for the particular logic. Okay, so have you clear? So from module one to module five, we have seen around twenty-five problems, right? Twenty-five different problems, maybe. Um, from unit module one, uh, we have seen one problem, I think, and uh, from that is nothing but asymptotic notation. It's not a problem; it's a kind of equation. And then from module two, under brute force, we have seen around six problems, right? I'm not sure about the count. And uh, under divide and conquer, we have seen three problems. Under dynamic programming method, we have seen around uh, four problems. and then under greedy method we have seen three problems or yeah three problems kruskal's prims and registers and finally under backtracking we have seen two problems n queens and sum of subset and finally we have discussed about this limitations of algorithm under to it we have discussed about what is p what is np np hard and np complete right and finally we may we have uh, made an experiment with one simple exercise by using satisfiability algorithm right so this is going to be the complete package of the course and um, from next week onwards we are going to have you can consider as consider it as assignment or test okay and for for all the upcoming exam tests you will have weightage for your final mark okay it will be considered as a continuous assessment one and you don't claim that sir yes last class you gave 30 questions for 30 marks but what about we will get 30 marks in continuous assessment definitely not okay because based on the weightage we will convert that mark okay so if um, this uh, definitely i'm not going to give mcq here after it's fine we are going to have only one mcq after this and then we are going to uh, have because the final exam is going to be in offline mode and um, i don't want to make one more risk like uh, what we have seen in test 2 okay so let's practice with uh, exercises especially uh, with those algorithms comes under a divide and conquer and dynamic programming and especially the last one in pigard so coming thursday we are going to have one test on this problem np hard and about this limitation okay so whatever the topic we have discussed yesterday and today this is going to be the portion for coming thursday's exercise i mean a test okay so of course it is going to be in online you can refer it's not going to be the problem so what i am suggesting is you can consider this test as you can consider as like kind of assignment what you are going to do is you are going to prepare notes for your interim examination by using this test okay so meantime we can have revision um, by monday tuesday we can have revisions and then on thursday we can have test okay we are going to have only two thursdays before last working day right before to before december 25th we we are going to have three three thursdays and uh, if possible we can have five exams okay five sim small tests and uh, we can prepare all the important questions materials for all the important questions then it will be much easier way uh, before going to appear for interim examination right Yes, online students. Is there any doubt from today's lecture? Yes. If you have any doubts, you can ask. We have only five minutes left. I thought this lecture is going to take much time than expected one because you guys are. like the sparks you can easily understand yes 
any doubts no doubts clear so once again i'll repeat that when you are about to write an answer in examination so just elaborate your answer okay don't limit to one page or half page for six mark question at least write uh, minimum two pages with an example and all so you can easily attract the evaluator to give at least 90% mark because most of the subjective questions um, evaluators will not give 100% mark for example it is if it is a seven mark question they will expect the high level accuracy for giving seven mark unless if it is not a problem so if it is a problem means if the problem is fine they will give full mark otherwise if it is going to be a like a kind of thought provoking question or a trick to question means they will give maximum 90% of mark that means out of 7 they will give 6 or find up like that right so aim for that 6 mark so that 6 mark when you will get is you have to elaborate your answer not only for the key element or what was required okay so you already you know that already you have been appeared in many examination that's my request and um, yes next while coming to thursday uh, we once again uh, we don't have enough time to complete all the exercises so try to practice the lab programs in um, when you have been in, in free time okay especially the registrar's algorithm try to come execute that already we have discussed in class twice right so try to execute that and um, if possible you can share the screenshot to me okay uh, we are going to have complete four programs in three laboratory session so we are running out of one session so we have to make it up in faster way okay and because of the holidays what we had uh, during the time when it is during the time diwali and puja maybe we have missed some classes especially the thursday have been holiday